Hi Good guys. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to our channel. Today is our first full day in Kyoto and we decided the first thing we wanted to go do is go take a scenic train ride. A and then, boat ride. And then at the end of it you turn around and take a boat ride back and then we're gonna go check out the bamboo forest and the monkey the preserve. Monkey. So it should be quite a day full of adventure hopefully. Hopefully everything works out. We haven't booked anything so hopefully we can just uh, buy our tickets there. Come, come along with us and see how our day turns out. Come with us. Did we finally find a busy train? Find a busy train. So it's what is it? Nine in the morning on a Thursday, as you can see, the trains get busy sometimes. So we just got off the sh JR, a short 10-minute ride from the center of Kyoto, and now we're going for the Saga Torokoko Station, which is the scenic train that goes up the. Yeah, up the canyon. Oh, that's a cool little station sign. And we'll see if we can use our, I guess our IT cards, right? Our Suica card should work. Should. So we just went to go buy our train tickets for the 10 o'clock train. It is like before 9.30 and they were sold out. So we had to get tickets for the 11 o'clock. The open air cards were sold out. So we got the window seat card. But this is a nice picture of the train we're going to take and that little boat down there is hopefully the boat we take back down the river to this area here. Yes. So we're going to take a quick look at Google Maps to see what we can fit in to do in an hour. So we got off the JR at Saigo Taroko Station uh, and got our tickets for the scenic train. Uh, we have an hour and a half so we're going to go check out the Kaimono Forest which sounded pretty cool. There's also the bamboo forest here. Um, We're gonna see the, the Tenruji right Temple. Most of those we'll do on our return trip after the boat, but since we had an hour, we thought we would knock one of them off, one of them off the list now. And we are not taking these poor guys. <laughs> because we feel sorry for them. Too many pounds, too many pounds. Mm -hmm. I guess these are Classic patterns from kimonos, a whole bunch of different like train. little trees. Yeah, it's a train station. Oh, I see the kimono forest now. So these are some, but look over there. See the whole row of them? Uh, it's my guess. I mean, they call it the kimono forest. So I guess these, these are traditional patterns. Yeah, it's a very touristic area for sure. Tons of food, tons of drinks. You're supposed to put the kimonos mm -hmm. and take pictures like this. <laughs> yeah. So at the end of the kimono forest is the pond of a dragon. Wishes are granted if the if the dragon that landed in a shayama is prayed to. If you immerse your hands in water, your heart will be filled with peace and you will be led to happiness. All right, I'm willing to give it a go. What are you going to do? What do you have to do? Uh, you got to give the dragon some cash, that's for sure. Throw the money and and then you pray to the dragon that landed here. The dragon landed here? That's what they say. And then you dip your hands in the water. Ooh, that's cold water. <laughs> and now the Buffalo Bills will win the Super Bowl. Go, go Bills? Go Bills. I don't think that's going to work. Thanks, buddy. I am going to throw the money to the dragon. Here, dragon. Here, get my money. You have to dip your hands in the water so the dragon can, can fill your heart with happiness. You know, until they're numb. <laughs> and that's it. Yeah, if you pray to the right dragon, they will be. So we got just enough time to check out the Ten Ryu, Ryu Jin Zen Temple. It's a United Nations World Heritage Site. That sounds pretty cool. I didn't know that. And even, we didn't see the temple yet because we just got in. 
But you can see those beautiful trees already red and yellow and green. It's absolutely so the, beautiful. Yeah. Just the view is beautiful. Mm -hmm. it's a quick little map of the grounds and the gardens. Just look how red these Japanese maples are. <laughs> absolutely stunning. Like blood red. So obviously this is a very large temple property. We don't have time to go through all the temples. Well, that's par for the course for us. You can see how those strong The lotus look, yeah. In the winter mm -hmm. and now. Wow. I like it now. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like there's a ticket hall. There's a dragon hall, which is 500 yen, a garden either five or three I'm not sure and then either 800 or 600 for the temple ahead of us here so we considered we saw that there's three different tickets to see the temple the dragon hall and the garden and, we don't have time. <laughs> and somehow 15 minutes just ain't gonna cut it so we're gonna go back to the station take our train ride and our boat ride and hopefully be back here around Early afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Always trying to fit in too much. Oh, so beautiful it's, here though. It's, it's too beautiful so you don't want to miss anything. And I don't know when we're going to have time for uh, the monkey forest. Or the bamboo forest. We did the bamboo. Oh, no. no, we did the kimono forest, yeah. Okay. So we're back at the train station here. We're here. Right here, Saga Tor, whatever. This is, Station. That's the scenic one. We went over and checked out the temple for a sec, but not enough time. We have to go back and buy the tickets to see all of it, including the bamboo forest. Hopefully this is where we end up back at after we take the boat ride back. So we'll see. Really helpful map. So much to do here. There's a park. There's the, the monkeys are over here. Here's the monkey park. And the bamboo forest, path of bamboo. So a lot of go see and do still. What's this guy got going on here? Oh, fresh roasted chestnuts. Wow, that's pretty cool. Actually, I wish we came here at night. At night, these light up. But this is the time we had, and they're beautiful to see all the different kimono patterns. You can rent the kimono and dress up and take the picture with it. So you think this train's gonna be full, baby? No. <laughs> it is no absolutely packed. We're here about 10 minutes before the train gets here, and the platform is crazy. <laughs> Romantic train since 1991. Nobody came back. Still open the windows and the closed cars. We just got off the scenic train. It's about a half hour. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Uh, if we're doing this right and we planned well, we're taking this little six minute walk over to the JR station where we grab it for one stop to get uh, to where you get on the boat. That takes you like back down through the, the canyon, yeah, like down the river. Let's see how well of a planner I am or if I royally screwed this up. We found the boat ticket office. Let's hope there's tickets available. So we just bought tickets for the 
boat ride. It was 8,200 yen. What was that? Uh, like $30 each. Chris was right. She said it earlier in the video. Oh, and Chris found snacks. There's a big gift shop up there. Uh, we just bought our tickets now and they said it should only be about a half hour wait, which is way better than I thought. You can get some drinks here. Oh, they have some hot food. Meat on a stick. You can't go wrong there. We're getting on our boat. Check these things out. We have fun time. Chris, of course, is pairing by putting on her lipstick. Nice um, slow pace just to enjoy the river and the scenery. How much was it? You were right, it was $30 each, 4100 yen. Yen per so about, Yeah, about $30. So you pay $60 for this boat ride. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's worth it? So far. So this train station here was on the scenic train that we took, and I think it's the stop in the middle of nowhere. There is nowhere to go from here. It's just a spot to get off and take in the beauty of nature. Oh, the water marking? Yeah. Uh, you can see that the, the river's so low it's not even on the scale. Uh oh. Oh, look at this. Oh, we can buy stuff here. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh, I absolutely need a beer. Oh, wow, check that out. You get all sorts of food and snacks. That is pretty amazing. I just uh, got a beer and a sock, you from a boat, on a boat. <laughs> <laughs> so much fun, so interesting how they sell it here. Everybody's eating and drinking now. <laughs> right over here taking some pictures and you can absolutely see why it's beautiful on this river in this canyon so we just finished up our boat ride what time is it now it is 
2.15. So it was a two hour boat ride. Whoa. Yeah, and it felt like it. My back is killing me. Well, we had fun. A lot so of fun, nice. a lot of fun. Good time. Good time. We recommend mm -hmm. Take the boat ride, $30 per person, worth it. No. It's a beautiful uh, view through the canyon. Mm -hmm. You see a lot of birds and everything, including the turtles. We see <laughs> turtles. It was cute. It was a great time. Unfortunately, on the cruise, Ben got splashed with the water because he was on the side. Yeah, it so sucked. It got a little wet and now it's a little chilly. But thankfully, at least I had a change of pants with me, a little pair of stretchy pants, be able to take off my wet clothes and hang out a bit longer. That's why we always bring way too much shit because we never need it unless right. we do. So you never know if you need it. That's why I carry a backpack too, he carry a backpack. But now we're gonna see the... Um, bamboo forest? The bamboo forest and the monkey. Hopefully we can make it to both places today. And so, maybe the the temple too, that big temple we tried to see earlier, huh? Ooh, let's go see the temple too, I like it. 